Campbell High School sadly will not be getting a new girls' locker room, at least not anytime soon, even though it's the subject of a lawsuit against the Department of Education. But lawmakers did approve money for several other campuses. Jim Beniza joins us now with more on this story. Jen. Dash, the American Civil Liberties Union filed a lawsuit alleging gender inequality at Campbell in December, using the lack of girls' locker rooms as just one point of contention. State legislators set aside more than $6 million for a track and field and other improvements at Campbell High School, but no girls' locker room. A lawsuit filed in December against the DOE and OIA says it's just one example of the school not following Title IX guidelines. The lawsuit claims the boys have exclusive access to their own locker room, while the girls must lug their athletic gear around all day and must resort to changing in teachers' closets, in the bathroom of the nearest Burger King, and even on the practice field. Lawmakers allocated money for 10 public schools to design and build girls' locker rooms in 2020 and 2021. Campbell is not on that list. I wanted to know why. When you are sued in the lawsuit came from Campbell High School, the last thing you want to do is go fix it because that is being seen as an admission of guilt. The DOE says it sought more than $42 million to make things Title IX compliant. The monies allocated would help the department as we continue to make significant strides towards ensuring that all of our students have equitable access to quality academic and athletic opportunities. Cabanilla Arakawa also told me that the school received $1.5 million for planning and design from the governor. She says the vice principal explained they should wait until that process is done before moving further along with the girls' locker rooms. Back to the desk.